Hey guys, I'm here to tell you everything you need to know to ride Disney's Rise of the Resistance. So I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to ride Disney's Rise of the Resistance. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and hit that notification button. I'll tell you exactly everything you need to know Disney related. So let's start. This applies for Rise of the Resistance in Disneyland and Disney World. In Disney World, it's been open for a little over a month. Disneyland it just opened. Essentially, there's a virtual queue that you have to enter once you get into the park. This is really key. Lots of people think that they need to get to the park hours early. No, you just need to get there right when it opens. As long as you are in the park, you don't have to be inside the world, just inside the park, you can essentially join a virtual boarding queue. And I'll show you how that's done now. So you start by going into the My Disney Experience app and usually at the top of the app, right when you come in, there's information about Star Wars and there's a button that says, find out more. So I just entered the My Disney Experience app and right on the front page, you can see Star Wars Rise of the Resistance, accessed by boarding group. You're gonna click find out more. And as you can see here, the park's open today. It's a little after 12 and they are currently on groups 46 through 71. Now, if you scroll, you can see two options, my status and join boarding group. When you go to my status, it tells you where they are in the queue. And right now, I don't have a boarding pass, so I can't really see my information since I don't have a group that I'm in. If you click join boarding group, that will allow you to, once you're in the park, you get into the virtual line. Right now, I'm unable to join a group because I am not in the park. But that's it, essentially, you get in the app, Scroll down, click join boarding group, and everyone in your party must be with you in the park checked in in order to join the virtual queue. And that's it, you are in. I'm not able to join right now because I'm obviously not at the park. You cannot press this button until you are in the park. Number one tip, what I did and what I found worked best is once I was in the park, I opened the app but didn't select anything else. My husband had already tried to select boarding group and press refresh, 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 and I got a boarding group before he did. So you just have to be aware of that. You can be in the app to make sure that your Wi-Fi is working, but don't press join boarding group until you are officially in the park. And that means you're past security, you've already put your fingerprint for your ticket. One other good tip is to make sure that if you're going just to get a boarding group, try to get there with no items. If you come with book bags and things, you have to go through a longer line of security. But if you have no purses, no books, no book bags, you can go straight through and that alleviates a long bit of time. Another tip for you, if you're staying on Disney property, make sure you know when the buses or other transportation, if it's the gondolas, when they start. We were trying to get to the park right when it opened. The gondolas we thought were open on that day, but I guess it was a Sunday and they were not on regular schedule. They opened a little bit later. So we then went to the gondolas and then ended up going to the bus. Thankfully the buses were on time and we ended up getting there right when the park opened, but we almost didn't make it. So be sure you know your transportation, how you're gonna get there. If you're driving, you usually can get into the driving parking lot a little bit earlier. Now that this ride is so popular, they're allowing people in to the parking lot and also into the park a little bit earlier for that matter. So you can come into the park earlier, but you will not be able to join the boarding queue until you're in the park. And really, those virtual queues, those passes, they go out pretty quickly. On opening day in Disneyland, they work on in a few minutes. Typically in high peak season, which it is now since the new is, the ride is pretty new, first 15 minutes they're gone. And once they've reached their capacity, then you're on what they call a wait, waiting list, um, essentially. And it's not guaranteed at that point if you will get on. And then after that, they have no more passes that they distribute for the day. So essentially you get your boarding pass and then you can go back to your hotel, you can go throughout the park, you can do whatever you need to do until they call your group. They will call your group if you have notifications on your phone. So you have to make sure that on your My Disney Experience app, notifications are on. Or you can just always go back to the app and check my status and they'll tell you what group that they're on. And you just have to wait till they call your group and then you're able to go and ride the ride. It's amazing, you don't have to wait in lines that are three, four hours long like Pandora or uh, Snow White, which are still very, very long lines. You can go back to the hotel and sleep, take a nap, which is what we did, and then we came back. You have two hours once they notify you that the ride is, your, your boarding group is ready to ride the ride. So let's say you are far away, you have enough time to get back. You essentially come back, they scan, 
your magic band at that point, or if you have a card, they'll scan your card in lieu of the magic band, and then you're ready to ride the ride. Very easy. Um, I really highly recommend it. Again, all you have to do is just get there right when park opens, really. So if it's eight o'clock, make sure they're eight o'clock and you don't have to walk that far. After they, sw they swipe your, your fingerprint into your magic band, I literally stopped right there, was able to get a boarding pass within seconds. So there you have it. We'll show you next week our full experience of us trying the boarding pass um, around the holiday season and really our full review of the ride, which is amazing. Highly recommend that you ride it. That's all for now. See you next time. Thanks for watching.